Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dalen from Tell Me About Gaming. Sit back, relax, and open up those ears because today we're going to be talking about a really cool indie game that was just released by the name of Hob. Let's get into it. So today in my Tell Me About series, we're going to be talking about the game by the name of Hob that was developed by Runic Games. Now for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know what the Tell Me About series is, it's pretty much, in a nutshell, a review of certain games. However, with that being said, it's not your typical review, there's no scoring system, I don't break it down part by part and bore the heck out of you guys. It's more of a system of me telling my friends what I think is good and what's not good about a game. So just think about this as me and you having a discussion on a game that was just released, why I think you should play it or why you shouldn't, and it makes things a lot simpler. So with that being said, I want to actually start talking about the game, and I want to give a huge thank you to the developers Runic Games for providing me with a review copy, and also for providing it to me before the game releases, so I actually got a chance to play it and get this review done before the game drops for all you guys publicly. So a huge thank you to them for doing that, I very much appreciate it, especially not being a huge YouTuber, it means the world to me when these awesome developers do things like that, so huge thank you to them. Also, I just want to make you guys aware that the version I was playing didn't seem to be the full release version as there were still some beta placeholders in there, so some of the things I mentioned in this review could be different tomorrow when the game goes live for all I know, so just make sure that you guys are aware of that, and with that being said, let's actually talk about the game itself. So Hob is an action-adventure, platforming, exploration, story, atmosphere-driven game. This game is so many things, and I was very excited for it as soon as it got announced. And now that I've actually gotten a chance to play the game, I can easily say that I'm still as happy as the day I saw the trailer. Everything lived up to my expectations. So first of all, let's talk about the most obvious thing, and that is the art style, the graphics in this game. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're very abstract, very different, kind of cell shaded cartoony looking, and I really, really enjoy them, especially, especially the character design looks absolutely amazing to me. I'm a huge fan. I love the wildlife that is shown in the game, the environments, the way that the game takes time to actually showcase itself to you. This isn't a game that's going to rush you through, get you from point A to point B. This is a game that legitimately at moments has you just sit down on a rock and stare at the environment just let you appreciate the world that the developers have built here and that world is absolutely beautiful everything flows together well in harmony it all makes sense the wildlife looks cool the characters look cool as I've said already and the enemies also have that menacing look to them they're very well done and I think overall I really can't complain whatsoever about the art style or the graphics that are featured in this game they're absolutely beautiful amazing astonishing and it blew my mind by far one of the best looking indie games I have ever played in my entire life and I'm not exaggerating this game is beautiful on top of that beautiful art style the developers have also managed to make this amazing soundtrack that is very different very unique but at the same time makes sense it fits in with the rest of the world and it just sounds fantastic this is one of the first indie games in a long time where the second I heard the soundtrack I started thinking to myself I want to buy it it sounds great it really adds into the emotion of the game, into the atmosphere, and overall it's just very well done and once again, same as the art style, I have nothing to complain about. I give the music, the soundtrack, just everything 10 out of 10. And with that being said, the actual sound design in the game as well is just out of this world. While there's no real voice acting per se, there are still some sounds that the characters make and they sound really cool, nice, again they fit well, they sound professionally made, and I think overall the main thing here is while this might not be the most amazing piece of art you've ever seen or the, mo the best sound design you've ever heard, the best music you've ever heard, what it does do an amazing job at is not only sounding great but also just fitting together very, very well. This is one of the best put together games I have played in a long time in the sense that everything just works together. Everything sounds like they fit. It's like the developers took a puzzle of artwork, of music, of sound design, of world, atmosphere, environments, creatures, all these different aspects of gaming and just put that puzzle together perfectly. 
Now with that being said, something that I haven't mentioned so far in this review is the story of the game, and the reason for that is I don't really want to spoil anything. I think this is for sure one of these games where you really just want to go in knowing as little as possible, and that's also why all the gameplay you guys are seeing is from very, very early on in the game. I don't want to show you guys later on, I want you to experience this game for yourself, because it's one of those games that you just have to play. You need to go in knowing nothing. It's very much like what Undertale was when it first came out, so I really recommend that you guys don't watch these full gameplays of this game or anything. Go buy it, go play it for yourself, and enjoy the experience. So now with all that being said, let's talk about what is arguably the most important thing to a game, and that is its gameplay. Sure, the game can look amazing, it can sound amazing, and it can be all around just a really cool looking game, but if the gameplay sucks then who really cares? Thankfully, I can say that Hob has some really fun, nice gameplay. It has a lot of different kind of aspects to it, it has kind of puzzle platforming, it has puzzle solving, it has combat, and all of them are done very well. Now with that being said, combat is not the best thing I've ever experienced in a game, however it's still good, it's pretty basic. However, you can actually build up your arsenal, you can eventually get a shield, you get different powers, different abilities, and that actually lends itself to the combat, so you can start doing a lot kind of more amazing looking moves if you want to say it like that. So it does go more in-depth eventually once you go into the world. However, it never really gets to some amazing point of like this is the best combat I've ever played. It's just plain out good, which isn't a bad thing, it's just nothing amazing. Now, the actual exploration is really cool. The worlds are humongous, it's coherent, and it looks great, as I've said already a million times. And exploring this world is a lot of fun to do. It's challenging, the puzzles are not too insane, however, they are just difficult enough that it gives you a challenge to try and succeed at. And it's just overall very fun. Something that I love that this game does, and something that I think it deserves a lot of praise for, is something that Metroid did back in the day, which is you eventually get these abilities that you can actually then go back back into the world and use those abilities to advance further into places that you've seen already but couldn't necessarily explore more, which is really awesome. It gives you a chance to revisit things and it of course adds to the replay value which is always a bonus. Now in terms of what I don't like about the game or what I think was done badly, there's actually not a whole lot but I figured I would leave them for the end of the video just to give you guys an idea of the things that I do dislike because there are some. First of all, I actually have been experiencing quite a bit of frame drops, especially for a game that's not super graphically advanced like this, I'm kind of surprised that I'm getting these frame drops. To be fair, I have been trying to run the game on ultra settings at 60fps 1080p, and I've never seen it go under 50, however there are certainly some noticeable frame drops, so it has to be said, but as I stated at the start of the video, this is from what I can tell a beta version of the game, so hopefully this is something that won't appear in the full release. And secondly, I have to be honest, while I do very much like games that do not hold your hand and force you to think for yourself, it, this game may take it a little bit too far at times. Um, it, it certainly is well appreciated when the developers understand the fact that players do have a brain and they can figure things out on their own. However, at times this game just gives you absolutely no direction to the point that you can be wandering around for two hours not having an absolute sweet clue what you're supposed to do. Now a lot of gamers are going to love this, especially a lot of the old school gamers. In fact, I'm, I'm sure a lot of the people who grew up in the 90s are going to refer to this as old school gameplay, which to be fair it really is, it's like the old Zelda, Metroids, you have to figure stuff out for yourself. Now the reason I'm mentioning this is because I know some of the new school gamers are not going to be huge fans of this, so I think it has to be said, they have to be made aware of this in case it's not your style, not because I can even say personally, while I do like this old school gameplay, I grew up in the 90s and that type of thing, I do enjoy it for the most part, however sometimes it does get a little ridiculous. There was one part that I was stuck for like two hours and just could not figure it out for the life of me, and that was just getting a little bit annoying at that point, so that's something worth noting. But with all that being said, overall, there's this one word that I've been using over and over in this review, and that is amazing, and I think that's the best word to sum up this game. It's just amazing. In fact, I think I can easily say that Hob is my personal indie game of the year so far for this year. 
I absolutely love it, whether it's the gameplay, the exploration, the atmosphere, the characters, the wildlife, the artwork, the music, the sounds, everything is just so well done. And Runa Games I think really deserves a round of applause here. And for the price point, I really, really have to recommend this game. If you are a fan of this genre, if you're a fan of these types of games, or if you just plain out want a really cool experience, check out Hob, it's absolutely amazing. Now, once again, a huge thank you to Runic Games for reaching out to me, giving me a review copy, and allowing me to make this review. I really appreciate it, and a huge thumbs up to your team for what you've done here. It's honestly blowing me away. I had big expectations for this game, but not this big, so huge, huge thumbs up to your team. You did an awesome job. Whether or not people agree with me, at least you made one person in this world happy, so good on you for that. As always everyone, thank you so very much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see your beautiful minds in the next video. If you wish to support the channel and want to assist me in my continued creation of videos, there are several ways of doing so. First of all, you can head on over to teespring.com slash tellmeaboutgaming to check out the official merch for the channel and maybe consider picking something up to show your support. You can also head over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash tellmeaboutgaming for exclusive rewards and information and to offer continued support to the channel. Also you can follow me on Twitter in order to stay up to date with the channel and everything that is going on. And finally, just simply liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment helps me out. Thanks everyone.